Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel and this is John from Sandbox Code. Um, in this video guys, I'm just going to demonstrate a very um, awesome application and this is basically a point of sale system and as you can see here, we have the customer product inquiry and then we can uh, view the details if we double click on this particular records right here. So double click and then we can see all the information just like the product code, description, model, the brand, uh, the category, the SRP, quantity in stock, and of course the images uh, that are available for this particular product and of course the specifications. So this is just one of the features available for this particular point of sale system. Okay. So again guys, this is just a demonstration. I just want to show you the capability of using Java technology. Okay, so for now, let's just close this. And uh, we have an option here to log in in our point of sale system. And we will be uh, presented with the option to enter our username and password. So, so for example, um, let's just type in uh, the random username or random password and let's just try to check okay so invalid uh, username or password okay and then of course we can try to log in with the correct username and password and click on okay so basically this is the back office of our point of sale and I am logged in now as the administrator and this uh, there will be product notification so this will be the listing of products that are almost running out of stock so we have product code and the quantity is 0 and 5 okay and of course there are options right here in our uh, under the top of this application we have the system log basically we will see here all the logs available for this application all the activities okay right there okay and we can search for a specific like maybe date or name or function okay so this this is just the feature for our system log okay and of course we also have the expenses or the option to view the expenses in this particular exception or I mean application and uh, I just want to show you guys some of the basic features of this application so we can add a new entry here we can save uh, we can edit the function or I mean the information coming from the database and actually guys the database uh, used for this particular application is the MySQL okay so if you are familiar with that and actually guys, uh, I, I want to create tutorial for this particular software, the complete tutorial for point of sale system. And just let me know guys in the comment section if you are interested because, you know, I want to hear feedback, feedback from you about uh, maybe creating this particular tutorial about the point of sale system, okay? And we also have other options here like the services offered for this particular store. We have the name, the description, date of admission, uh, return date, and of course the amount. Okay, we can create different, you know, records to save, to be saved into our MySQL database. And we also have the option to add customer, to view the customer. So for now let's just try to add a new customer so click on new and then let's say individual and then name maybe uh, John Doe John Doe and then telephone number so for example 055 uh, 358 3468 something like that and then let's just copy and paste this number and email address is John Doe at gmail.com and address so for example 1278 North Drive California something like this okay and then click on save so customer information successfully saved and then click on okay and then we can see here 
the information of our newly added customer and if you try to double click this all the information will be populated in this up uh, area right here and of course we also have the option so for example you want to edit the information and you can click on this edit okay and of course there are also option for our employee to add employee okay uh, the same process you click on new and then enter the first name middle name last name and other um, necessary information okay so for example let's try to add a new admin okay so jane the, the first name will be jane and the middle name will be d last name is though uh, admin as the function and set this to active username will be jane password is jane also and then we have to confirm the password jane and then save so employee information successfully saved and of course we can always um, log in using this particular username and password combination and okay um, we can enter products here so, so for example code the brand the model the description um, category suggested re uh, retail price specifications and then of course you can browse the images that you want to use for this particular product okay and basically we have the uh, default products right here okay and next is the delivery okay you can see and we can add delivery here information and we can also have the supplier added in this particular option now for the point of sale or the pos option we can click on this pos there and we will be presented with this um desktop frame the point of sale and then we can select if the purchase type is uh, is cash or um, credit credit and then of course all the necessary information and for now let's try to log out in this app application so log out and there you go uh, uh, we are now logged out in our um, point of sale system or application so there are other types of user also say so for example the cashier so cash and then I click on ok and there will be fewer options because this is not the admin account okay POS, the product and delivery and supplier and there will be no option for the system logs the services and other options okay and of course there are also other type so for example I think it's tech okay tech and uh, I'm not sure yet um, but there are other user type for this particular option which is the technician so for example and let's try to log in with our newly created um, admin account which is Jane and the password is Jane and then click on OK so there you go you can see the date and of course the time that uh, this application is displaying okay so I think that's it guys in this video and again if you want tutorial for just like this application if you want to have like a tutorial step-by-step -step tutorial to create this particular point of sale system let me know in the comment section and let me know how many of you are interested with this kind of software which is the point of sale system so I think that's it guys and thank you for watching